Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. And today is the first day of October. Um, now, what am I creating today? That's a great question. I am going to create a stencil and trial something which I have not trialed before. Uh, if you guys have seen it somewhere else, then please, please, please let me know where so I can see how they went, what they did. Um, what I'm using here is contact paper. Uh, I think that's what you guys call it in America. We call it um, Duracell. It's um, book covering stuff. You know, you put it on your kids' school books. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm creating a um, a shape. <laughs> oh, I say I'm creating it. It's a bit of a joke, really. Oh, look, that fits perfectly. How's it getting any better than that? All right, so... My target with this is to draw a pumpkin um, and that pumpkin needs to be bigger than the center of the record so I'm gonna go with needs to be ah, reasonably centered and take my hat off because that way it won't get in the shot. Just realised that that could be a problem. Okay, I'm going to slightly drop this circle down below. Now, you guys might, if you're in, if you're in a country that celebrates Halloween a lot, you might already have stencils and things that you can use for this. Um, here in New Zealand, it's only just starting to become something that we play with. So, my target is to have this kind of look like a pumpkin. But completely cover that centerpiece. Um, I don't even know what a pumpkin looks like. Yes, I do. I ate enough of it as a kid. Um, from memory, they have a stalk. Up like that. And a bit, bit bigger on that bit there. Is that better? Bring that up as well. Now I'm going to cut that out. Why am I cutting that out? Well, I'm going to glue this, stick this, on my record. And paint inside it. Now the record is black already. And... Yeah, you could always do a full um, full fully paint your record, your colours, and then go back over and 
paint out the black. Or you could do what I'm doing. And stick a stencil on and pour paint inside. Now, I've never done this. I'm experimenting. This is... Um, yeah, memories are made of this. How many of you have got memories of Halloween as a kid? I don't. Wouldn't do it. Anyway, I'm waffling again. Let's see if this works. So, my target is to stick this on then paint the record and then peel this off again. Uh, why am I making sure that it goes bigger than the rec than the label? Uh, that's because from previous experience this stuff rips labels and so peeling it off later would rip the label and ruin the effect alright really important part of this like with any taping is to get a good seal around the edges which I'm not getting in a couple of places so it's October and when I put the word out on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group asking for suggestions of what we should do for this month's challenge, the majority of you came back saying, Halloween! And I know in America you do a lot of Halloween stuff. Massive parties, dress-ups, blah, blah, blah. And being autumn in the States, it's a good time for pumpkins. And so it has become a bit of a symbol over the years. So I'm doing a pumpkin. A really odd shaped pumpkin. But how does it get any better than this? This is really more to test whether this theory of mine works um, so we have that bit and then now if you are wanting to cover the center and paint everything but that and you're going to use this stuff I would recommend um, leaving it on if you want to be able to paint everything but the label somebody was talking about that on a on the acrylic pouring for fun page so what how i would do that is i would stick the sticker on like this really mush it down so that it seals and protects it go around so that it seals and protects all the way around and then I'd get my blade and run around like this now I had somebody on a video recently getting a little bit 
upset about me using a blade without Kevlar gloves on. Um, I've never ever considered using protective gloves when using a blade. If I'm not comfortable cutting with a blade, I'm not going to cut. Full stop. Um, but then I've had a lot of woodworking experience and playing and workshops and stuff like that. I don't have a problem with cutting myself. I promise not to show it on video. If I do, I will cut that, edit that part out of the video. Um, so that's what I would do. I would pour, I would then pour it and then come back in and clean that off later. Um, anyway, so why did I put that there? To fill in the hole. So we've got our vague concept of a pumpkin shape. <laughs> I'm going to move my cutting board out of the way. And make a little bit more space. Let's get pouring, baby! Alright. We're only going to need a really small amount of paint for this. So I'm going to use a shot glass. Um... And we probably only need about two-thirds of one of these because this is a 45 milliliter or one and a half ounce shot glass. So it's a, it's a big shot glass. Right, what colours are we going to do? Uh, let me guess. Orange. <laughs> bit of dark color so I'm gonna go with um, some just a light tiny 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 bit of Payne's gray um, and give it some glitter oops glittery possibilities I'm going to use, if I can find it, somewhere I have it mixed up. I'm going to find it and I'll be right back, but we're going to use copper. Okay, so I don't have any copper mixed up. And when I tried to mix it up quickly to be able to use it for this project, it's gonna need to sit for a while it's a bit clumpy so we'll just leave that to sit for the next project and instead I'm gonna use gold Woohoo! now looking at this camera we need a bit more light let's have a bit more light on the subject there we go all right so, the other thing I found while I was hunting for the copper, though, was some burnt, sea, burnt umber, sorry. And um, so I'm going to use that instead of Payne's Grey because I reckon we need to leave the blackish looking colour for the record to be the black and this one to be the... definition so I'm just going to do a really basic flip cup guys um, but I do want cells in my piece and I want the orange to be coming up um, through the brown 
it's not much orange left in here but that's okay um so I'd like the orange to be coming up through the brown and the gold. So I'm actually going to start my pot off with gold in the bottom. And then some orange. And then some brown. And then some more orange and then some more gold and then the last of the orange and then we'll see what magic this creates now I've just realized I haven't put this record up on a Um, on a riser if you've been watching my channel you'll know that I like to put a tin underneath so that I can get my fingers under to tilt and stuff like that so you ready for this let's do it this is the easy way to do a flip cup is actually have a small enough movable situation with the canvas or whatever I'm just going to let that drain down a little bit before we pop the lid off. And let's see what, what colours we get. Oh, I'm liking these cells. Can you see those? Ah, oh, the joys of living on a building site. The trucks are here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of warmth to bring the silicon up. And now let's fill in our I'm actually going to tip it around enough to have a thin enough piece of paint because we don't want to have um, when we peel it off a big thick line I don't want to have that um, what I do want to have is some of that gold though So let's bring that through a little bit. I'm trying to remember which way around we had our So I'm gonna have to leave this to dry for a little while before I peel it off. I've not done this before guys. I'm experimenting. This is a experiment. But hey, if it works, how cool will this be? To be able to make your own stencils out of contact. And have it work. <laughs> so let's give it another go with the torch. So for a few new here, discovering new play ways to play for Halloween, um, the silicon that we put into the orange is oil, obviously, and using water-based paint. So the target is to have the oil rise up through the paint and create these cell-like structures. Um, and it does that better when the paint is warm. Um, And one of the things that you've got to be aware of when you do it, you also got air bubbles trapped into your paint. 
um, so by using a flame torch uh, it pops the air bubbles and it also warms the paint and invites that silicon to rise a little bit quicker a little bit more easeful up through the paint so that's why but we're not actually touching the flame to the paint it's just far enough away to warm but not burn okay hope that makes sense so I'm guessing it's about there so we've got a shiny light lit side and a darker bottom end I don't know maybe I don't know we'll have to wait and see what happens I'm gonna need to take this off before it's completely dry um, and I'm not really sure <laughs> It's going to be an experiment, guys. So let's wait and see. All right. So let me just show you this. This has got some funky bits in it. You've got, I've actually got cells under here that look like the brown has come up, but the orange is still on the top. Um, I'm hoping this piece here will be in when I peel off the contact. But I have a feeling it won't. Oh, look, another bubble. Can you see that bubble? Can you see what I see? Maybe it's not a bubble. Maybe it's. A lump of something. I'm gonna get that out. Do, 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 do. No, it was a bubble. <laughs> Just didn't want to pop with the gun. All right. So guys, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back once it has to see what magic I can create. How does it get any better than this? Yay! Five hours later. <laughs> All right. So... It has sort of kind of set, but not really set, but it's starting to set, if you know what I mean. Um, there, around the edges, you're starting to see a driedness. So I think it's probably about time that we got this stencil off. As I said earlier, I'm making this up as I go along, guys. This is an experiment. Do not take me as the be-all and end-all know-it-all. I'm sharing with you my playtime. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and whip it off. Did you see? I obviously had a bug. We got some sort of shape. That's a bonus. Definitely got some sort of shape. So there we go. That kind of worked. Ish. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it to dry completely now. And then I can, actually before I do, while I've got the shape there, I'm going to put a stalk on it. 
if I can find a colour that inspires me to use it. Oh, I know what. I'm going to use that copper that I couldn't use before because it was clumpy. Let's use that. Alright. Um. Looks more like an apple. Here we go. <laughs> My shape's not great. I'll admit that. Grab a little bit of the colour off the ear and all right, let's leave it to dry. Let's see what it comes out at. I'll be back in the morning or whenever it's dry. But there's my pumpkin ish thing to start off our month. All right, so it's pretty much dry. There are still patches which aren't dry. And to be honest, this isn't something I'm probably going to do anything with at the end anyway. So we're just going to finish it off so that you guys get to see the process of the, using the, um, what's those things called? Stencil. Um, and I'm going to put some eyes on it um, when I googled what the Halloween pumpkins look like I realized that the target actually is to put a candle inside and light up the holes rather than what I'm doing which is giving them black eyes but you know what that's okay as well how does it get any better than that as you can see the paint's a little bit runny still over on this orange side that's cool we're gonna chop out a little triangle for his nose So if you, while I'm doing this, I'm going to do my promo. Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group is where we are playing with this. Um, this challenge. So if you'd like to come and join us over there, we would love to have you join us. Um... Check out the event for Halloween. Um, anybody that's a member of the Halloween of the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group um, is very welcome to contribute, to play, to be part of that event. You don't have to be invited. If you're a member of the group, you can find it just by clicking on events at the top of the page. And, um, eh, definitely still wet in there. Uh, so just go to the group, click on events, go to the event, and add your photos or videos of what you create for Halloween using acrylic pouring. Um, oh, this is terrible. Guess who's never chopped a pumpkin, never mind painted a chopped pumpkin. I've chopped a pumpkin to eat, of course, but, you know, not for Halloween. Oh, 
Let's do that. Okay. Well, you get the picture. The target was to try out using the contact paper to cut a stencil, and I think we did a pretty good job of that. We've definitely got a shape, and it's a shape that was similar to the um, to what we cut out originally. So there you go. Give it a go. Here's my little pumpkin. He's a happy little pumpkin. <laughs> Not a scary pumpkin. Anyway, I adore you all. I'm looking forward to seeing what you create with for Halloween. And um, how much fun can you have doing it? How much fun can Halloween be? And how much fun can October be in all areas of your life? So come join us, come play, and I will see you in another video. If you subscribe and maybe even hit the like button, comment, whatever you want to do, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, the bats are flying around. <laughs> bats. Mmm. 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 Mwah, ah, ah, ah. What other creative creations can I make for October? See you later, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.